Okay. Uh, next up, guys, is going to come a replay analysis of one of my subscribers, Hadoken1887. He asked me to look at a replay he played. I'm assuming it's a fairly recent game. Orc vs. Human Twisted Matters. Let's see what we can extract in terms of information and potential feedback from this game. Something you're doing? I can do that. Awesome game. Now please go your favorite strat of the moment. Dragons fan, thank you very much. I'll think about uh, what that actually <coughs> what that actually is. I think it's probably going to be tier three with Envenomed Spears, Wind Riders. Uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, so to to go on with this uh, replay analysis, uh, it's Twisted Meadows. So I'm going to. Uh, by the way, there's many ways to watch a replay in Warcraft Three. Uh, you can uh, watch in one time speed the entire game and then slow down or pause during fights or you can watch in one time speed unadulterated just to get the exact feel for the timings of everything and you can uh, also swap between your vision the opponents non-stop to get look at whatever you want to look at but you can also force yourself to look only at a single vision um, in order to learn and Hiding information from yourself while you analyze a replay for the first time can only be done once. If I even press 11 once, I, I will see that the human is in top left position. I'll unintentionally, subconsciously start making adjustments in my head about their location. It's best to hide all information from yourself, do a one time run through, watching only your own point of view. And only afterwards, as you already have more information, to include that in your analysis. If I was serious about uh, analyzing one of my own replays, I could watch it up to 10 times, uh, five, 10 times, uh, just to get more information. Uh, so uh, the first thing I'm looking at is that you're scouting in the wrong direction. This is not because I know human is top left, but because actually human laboratory creeps often, and there's only one location that you can get to fast enough in order to do real and lasting damage. And that's top left. It's always counterclockwise on, twi on Twisted Meadows. So always scout counterclockwise first against human. Uh, even if he is here, you will not reach the bottom laboratory in time. So give yourself an opportunity, 33% chance, to get, to get it right. Uh, in terms of your building placement, I really like it. It's very much like how I build it. It leaves you space to make catapults later to stop tower rushes uh, and not get body blocked by yourself. <coughs> it also protects your peon line from towers placed over here or whatever. Okay, so he's not at the bottom. I'm going to assume that you will go get a circlet of nobility. This footman probably gives away his top left. I don't think he could have had a footman in your base coming from the top left orientation if he was bottom left. So now you kind of know he's top left. But you already went here with Blade, which means you want to get Sarklet. You're now making a decision to start this camp. I would say nothing else is efficient except starting this camp immediately with Sarklet. The problem is, it's right next to him, right? So he can do... No problem. Thank you for the cap throw months. Reset Walter White Cat. I really appreciate it. Uh, your grunt is going in the wrong location. It's gonna be late. It delays your creeping and you're actually oh, Okay, so he went for You couldn't have known that um... To be honest the expected result Would be that he's finishing his laboratory and then you're you're coming here and, and there's just a creep and he's not there which means uh you'll have to creep it in order to be efficient your grunt is late because you're overchased and you're showing him where you are so once you start creeping this he should be able to come in with two three footmen water elemental level 2.2 arc mage and start harassing your grunt at which point you'll soon have to go back heal up which allows him to do basically anything he can finish the camp himself uh, or do a bunch of small camps or just harass you. So I don't like the opening decision too much. But just, yeah, you're taking too much chip damage with Grunt. Way too much damage. You can't walk past. 
you need to have this uh, idea that Grunt did not walk past footmen and militia in close, close proximity. You need to keep two arms distance uh, away. Nice kill on the water elemental. Good job. Uh, good damage on Archmage. Grunt sticking around doing damage on Peasant. Very good. And now you go back on time. This is good. Uh, you made your second Grunt. Uh, keep in mind that you should shift click Peon in case you get too busy so you can get back to work. Lazy freaking Peon. Um, and also I hope that you control grouped your Great Hall to 4 so that you can go to tier 2 right as you have enough lumber. Uh, in this case actually the easiest thing to do would be to hit Archmage once with your Windwalk. Then hit the Overseer once. Tap Windwalk fast and go for the last hit. It would cost you more mana but I think at this point you're going to spend all your mana anyway. And that would leave his Archmage at one and a, uh, at half life and probably guarantee the creep. We're under attack. Ah, you still got it. Um, as you can see, it's a it's a windwalk plus a hit. But you did it the risky way, because you did windwalk into a hit, which allowed him to kill the last 30, 40 HP himself. If you had done it like I had said, you would do uh, the the windwalk bonus damage chunk hit. Guaranteeing the hit, uh, the, the final hit. But, having said that, you do still have your mana. You haven't spent the mana that I said that you should. So that's kind of a bonus. Nice job keeping the grunts here. Really good job with the peon as well. You will see if he goes for the goblin shop or the bottom left of the map. Keeping good tabs on him. Grunts in the neighborhood. A little bit quicker to go to the camp would be nice. Uh, and I wouldn't have minded if you just got a single heal solve. Maybe a clarity. Or just a single heal solve and a boots. Uh, because you are actually fully committing to harass, it's very unlikely that you would need double heal solves that fast. I, I, I care to wager that by the time you would need the second heal solve, you're going to be in the vicinity of your main base again. So you could have postponed the 100 gold spending, which would have allowed you to get boots of speed, and it would make for a better chase. Don't take damage here, too much trading. He already finished the camp. It's a low priority camp. So you don't really need to go take full damage from it. Uh, I like against human to make a quick third burrow. They often try to go and cancel it. So the sooner you can fit it into your build, especially when your boots is late. And let's once again remember not buying that second heal solve, which is just basically sitting in your inventory. The sooner you can fit in that third burrow, the safer you'll be. Nice peon movement, good job saving that and uh, dissuading the footman from chasing. You don't know where Archmage is, but you can make a pretty decent judgment call. He can go for the green camp here, the green camp here. Since you see his footman, there's really not much other options. He could have maybe gone for an Archmage 8 militia natural creep. It's, it's quite risky and unusual, so you're pretty much aware of everything. Good burrow placement, I like it. Maybe one slot to the left would be even better. Um, I think you should make one tech building maybe here, or maybe even here, and one here. Beastery here, no, no, Spirit Lodge here, and then Beastery here. I think that would be the best. Because uh, you can make it here, I think. No, no, uh, maybe it fits here, but it, it will get canceled quite easily and you'll have some body blockage. Okay, good job doing the creeps with grunts. You got vision. He made an arcane tower, a late one. Greetings, friend. E. Hi. Uh, you found Archmage is still level one. He doesn't have boots. You'll send grunts to body block him. That's a good job. Uh, they should start going to the right already. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Okay, send them back. You should keep them here at hold position. Don't go in because uh, it gives him an opportunity to screw your grunts. Very nice position. Good job. All right. I think you can kill him. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Perfect micro. Well done, Hadouken. Couldn't have done it any better myself. Immediately take a camp. That's a great job. You know that there is nothing to be gotten in his main base. Okay. Uh, yeah, you want to make Spirit Lodge before Berserker Strength. I think you're probably going to cancel it. Aren't you? 
By the way, remember that I said you'll be in the vicinity of your own base by the time you need the second heal solve. It's true. You could have popped over and got it. Yeah. Never ever prioritize Berserker Strength over Spirit Lodge. <coughs> he didn't even harass you worth an inch. And you're still out of lumber because of this. You should never... Imagine if he harassed, you wouldn't be able to make anything. It's because you used your peon so extensively for scouting that you're low on lumber. So you'll, you should just play the next two minutes without Berserker Strength in my opinion. But I really like your peon movement. Okay, you see him come over with footman, so you stop him right in, at the start. Also, if you have a choice to make only Bishri or Lodge, I would say make only Lodge. You want to start that mana generation on Spirit Walkers as fast as possible. Greetings, friend. Yeah, now you have nine charges of heal solve. Again, a little bit too trigger happy pressing that double H. I would have said clarity heal solve, speed scroll, or maybe even just speed scroll and heal solve. Because look at your gold and lumber. You can't even make a raider. You overspend items again. It's probably your number one and only mistake so far. Uh, which I think is even relevant. Nice. Just start killing footmen, I think. <coughs> uh, Archmage is fine too. So, at this point, because you're so grotesquely far ahead, being level 3 versus 1, you should scout his main base. There's something fishy going on. I feel like he's going tier 3 or something. No, it's mass casters. Okay. Y you click his hero. Did you click his hero? You did not click. You should always click his hero if you have a choice. Nice creeping. I would say it's okay to hex the overseer once. Oh no, what are you doing? If you start... No, kill it! Kill it! If you start by hexing the overseer once, you can prevent a lot of damage done on your grunts. <coughs> but it's okay, you still got your mana, it's actually pretty good too. Uh, I would say that your lumber situation is such that you can justify remaking the peon you just lost. Uh, he's doing the murk camp, you knew it, but you didn't go and fight it, which is pretty good because you don't have enough mana on blade to steal and you don't really want to get caught in the slow trap of human too early game. You should eat the strength with your blade, don't be lazy. Okay, uh, I hope you make Kodo immediately, yeah. Uh, if you make the fast mill because of whatever condition, and this time you did it because you had lack of lumber, definitely make the Kodo as fast as possible. It's okay to make it even after a single raider. But if you don't, make it after the second raider. Don't go full triple raider. Reason being, Kodo is amazing at defending tower rushes, which is basically the only way that he could still beat you. We're complete. You can eat water elementals, it adds damage. Nice creep jack. Very good. Uh, you should have probably bought invulnerability. Oh, you do, but it's on the wrong hero. Ah, go kill him. Just go kill him. Oh, you're waiting here a little bit too long. You could have stolen that uh, rock golem. Still a nice fight, though. Are you bringing peons? You are. Man, you're pretty good. Making Kodo... And going over 50 is totally acceptable under the circumstances. There we go. Perfect. Uh, upgrade pillage as well. Probably you should make uh, attack upgrade and pillage at this point. And then you just go for the Hill Mary. Go finish him off. Go back, get two clarity potions on Shadow and finish him off. What did you just get? <coughs> Claws plus nine. Nice. If you attack now, there's no way you could still lose. Ah, you're getting pillaged. Perfect. Good job. And... You didn't get the double clarity, which I think would have been nice. You didn't really need that burrow. Look at your situation. So you're going for an all-in. No, he didn't pay for the analysis. He just asked for it. I'm happy to do it. Uh... You're going all-in, which means even if you had money to make units now, they wouldn't arrive on time. So it's better to invest in things that immediately add something. Recognizing that, you make a headhunter because it will come out the fastest.
but double clarity would have done you a lot better. Now, because you have pillage, you start getting some money here. Did it finish? No, not yet. Now it finished. Oh, nice double sorceress. Uh, I wouldn't say it's necessary to windwalk and go for his archmage. You're not completely ready for the fight. You're not spirit linked yet. You haven't started voodoo lounge yet. And you haven't killed the shop. If you just kill shop, play it chill, ignore the first few attackers, make a shop, I think that'll be great. Still, having said that, you should be able to win this fight with ease. Uh, you're not spirit linking enough. Yeah, you're doing too much disenchant and not enough linking. He only has two breakers. It's more important to have damage mitigation here. Lol. <coughs> A small expeditionary force to take out the crucial tower. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's all good. That's a great fight. You're gonna win this one. Heal scroll is actually a little bit too late, but notice how many units you're losing. This should have been an almost perfect fight because you're not linking and then your speed, your heal scroll doesn't have as much value. Uh, a little bit awkward, but you should still win your 58 versus 41. Would have been nice if you had more mana on Shadowhunter. Uh, and that attack upgrade that I was talking about. A little bit too many raiders as well. Grunts are fine here. Two Kodos would have been nice. He still sees you? No. He's level 3? Three, and you're four, four. For a stroll berserker, and you're going for the final fight. Nice and snares. Okay, when this happens, you want to take your raiders and just move them past all of his army. Wrap them around the side here so you can harass and attack his gases from above and uh, have them be in range of Archmage to cancel Blizzard with ensnare. Having said that, if you had, cl <coughs> if you had clicked his Archmage, you would have seen that he's only got mana for one more blizzard. So there, you wouldn't even have to run. You've got mana potion. You're overreacting to the blizzard. There was no reason to go back here. Ready to ride. Blizzard is only a threat if he's likely... Oh my god! No! You're walking past everything. Your units aren't doing anything. Oh, you actually lose this. Oh no. You found the way. That was hard. Yeah, just um, really, really bad misjudgment of your strength. You played the game almost perfectly, but then you misjudged uh, your strength. If you had stayed and done nothing, Except in Snare Archmage, game would be over. You do nothing except Control Raider, everything attack move, you don't even have to heal wave, you would win the game. But you just clicked past his army, you re engaged too many times, leave, and you didn't restock up. You had 15, 20 food more. But that was a, that was a great game uh, by you, actually. Besides the end and the understanding of the late game fight, I think you did great. Uh, Hadoken. And thank you for sending uh, a really good replay, actually, for analysis. That was a good orc, guys. Hadoken. Thanks anyway for analysis. Still learned a lot. Yeah, really appreciate you did that. No problem, my pleasure. Let's watch it nine more times to get analysis value. Lol. <coughs> you sure? Good analysis for Angel. My pleasure, my pleasure.
something to drink? Right away. Yes. Yes. What do you want? Yes. We are. Yes. 